from a very young age. Albert Einstein looked like everybody's grandfather. Uh, he had a, a very sly sense of humor. He and my father really laughed because he asked me if I was good in arithmetic. And I said, not very. <laughs> and then he said, neither was I. <laughs> He was a scientific hero, in part for all the wrong reasons, in part because he looked like an absent-minded, frizzy-haired guy. There were stories that he had flunked arithmetic when he was a child, which was not true. He was maybe a little bit abstracted from the real world, but he was certainly not as incompetent or non-worldly as he was made out to be in the popular press. I guess he sort of fit and iconic idea of what the scientist is or should be that suited the times. Curious intellect was the supreme thing that you could have in Einstein's eyes to question basic assumptions and axioms, whether that be in, in the sphere of science or you know, in political sphere as well, public sphere, not to accept authority. This man was the most phenomenal genius and constructor of mathematical equations. That in and of itself should be enough for anybody. But he also was mindful and concerned with civil rights, with human rights, and man's inhumanity to man. He cared about people. And it's that combination that makes Albert Einstein unique. In 1999, Time Magazine had the idea that they would put together a feature on the 100 most influential people of the century. Einstein was number one. In 20th century science, no one will argue, uh, Einstein was the dominant genius. He, more than anyone else, changed the way we see the universe.